Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from KeepItKing77.com doing a video for Sprint Galaxy Nexus owners. The Android 4.3 update is now being pushed out over the air. Uh, it is rolling out slowly, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to manually install it on your device. I'll actually do a quick run through at the end of the video of the update as well. I do have a full review of 4.3, which I'll link to in the description if you're looking for that. But anyways, here is how you manually update. First of all, you want to double check and make sure you're on the previous build before this 4.3 three build being GA02, Android 4.2.1. You'll notice your baseband version, you'll see GA02 in both your baseband versions. So just kind of make sure that that is the build you are on. You do need to be on that to manually update. Also, this is for if you have stock recovery. If you have a custom recovery, then I just recommend waiting for a developer to publish a, a stock rooted ROM. That would be the best way to do it if you have a custom recovery. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, you do need to have the Android uh, ADB and SDK tools on your computer, actually. I'll link to a video in the description if you have not set that up yet. Uh, if you do own a Nexus device, it's highly recommended that you set that up anyways uh, if you're looking to make modifications to your phone. So I'll link to that in the description. Set up the Android SDK tools on your PC. Once you're done with that, you need to go ahead and click on the next link in the description of the video. It's a download link to the update zip file, which you'll need to download onto your PC. So once you have the SDK tools done and the down file downloaded, you can go to your PC. All right, and as you can see, this is my downloads folder. You'll see you, uh, the download is actually a file, a very long file. Just make sure at the end it says GA02 to GJ. 04, which is the new update, the 4.3 update, that's what it's called, GJ04. Right click on it and cut. So cut that update. Now go ahead and go to your C drive and you'll see that Android SDK tools folder or wherever you have it on your computer. Find that Android SDK tools folder, double click on it. Go ahead and go into, I believe it's platform tools, double click on that and then paste it into that platform platform tools folder. So just kind of make sure that file is in there. This is just the easiest way for me to show you guys. Now next, what I want you to do is right click, hold shift key on your keyboard actually, right click inside that folder and you'll see an uh, option to open command window here. So click on that. It's gonna open up a command prompt here and we're just gonna need to type in some tools. Before that, let me grab my phone because we need to put it into recovery mode. All right, so now we need to put our phone into recovery mode. So just go ahead and power it off fully. I do recommend having over 50% battery for this, just a recommendation. And of course, um, you do this at your own risk. Of course, something could go wrong. It's highly unlikely if you follow my instructions that something will go wrong. But now once your phone is fully powered off, press and hold volume up, volume down, and the power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them, and uh, it will take us into the bootloader. You can let go once this screen comes up. Uh, now you navigate with the volume up and down. Go ahead and press volume down twice till it says recovery mode and press the power button to select it. It's gonna go ahead and take us into a screen with a ex an exclamation point actually. Um, it's usually pretty tricky to, to get past this screen. I don't know why Google did this or Samsung or whoever did this, but uh, getting past it, try and do volume up and power at the same time. Uh, if that doesn't work, just kind of press the volume keys and power buttons in some random order. Usually you'll get lucky and somehow get into it. Um, it's supposed to be volume up and power, but that's not working for me as you can see. Um, uh, it looks like it's gonna reboot. Again, it's very tricky. I don't know why it does this, but now you just gotta keep trying until you can get into it. All right, so here we go again, round two. Volume up and power not doing anything. Um, again, I did this before I uh, started this video and I got into the menu. I don't know why it's not letting me into it. Um, it's really uh, acting strange. It should be volume up and power. Um, that's what got into it last time, but now it's gonna reboot again. I'm just gonna pull the battery and get back into it once more. All right, trying again. Um, not doing it. What the heck, this is really, there we go, see? See what I'm saying? I don't know the exact order, but if you do know it, let me know. I got into it. Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Anyways, moving right along. Now, once you're in this menu, you use volume up and down to navigate again and the power button to select. Go down to apply update from ADB, the first one down, and press the power button. Now, it's just gonna go ahead and wait for you to connect your device to your uh, PC. So now what you can do is grab uh, the cable and plug it into your PC, actually. So plug your Galaxy Nexus into your computer. Now we can go back to our computer. All right, so now we're back to our computer at our command prompt. We just need to type in a quick command, and it is ADB space sideload. 
Um, now what I highly recommend you do is put a space after side load, is go back into this folder, that platform tools folder that we had open, and copy this entire file. So go ahead and right click and copy it. Now go back into your command prompt. Once back into your command prompt, right click up at the top, and highlight edit and hit paste. What it's going to do what it is going to do is paste that entire file name in there and make sure you add .zip at the end. So you'll see gj04.zip. Oop. Sorry, it's hard to type with this in front of me. So you'll see you make sure you add 1.zip. Make sure it doesn't say .zip .zip, just 1.zip. All right, and once you are uh, done with that, just all you have to do is hit enter. When you hit enter, what it's going to do is go ahead and push the uh, update to your device. You'll see it's sending the side load to your device. Nothing is happening on my phone yet. I'll keep you updated, but it's going to go ahead and push that entire update to your phone. All right, once it pushes it over, it's just going to go ahead and install on the device. You'll see a little progress bar down at the bottom here. I want to make a note that you do not need your bootloader unlocked, anything like that. Uh, mine is coincidentally, but I am on stock recovery, of course, and the stock ROM. So it'll take a bit of time to install. The update was fairly large, so just be patient with it. Um, I will be back once it is closer to finishing. All right, so it looks like it's finishing up. It says install from ADB is complete. Once it's done, uh, all you have to do is press the power button because reboot system now is already highlighted. So just press the power button and our phone should reboot. Um, and that should just be it. Um, now you don't need it plugged into the PC anymore. You actually didn't need it plugged in as soon as it said side load 100% on your computer, but I like to leave it plugged in for power reasons. Anyways, I'm gonna let this boot up. It'll take longer than usual to boot up, so keep that in mind. The update did take a long time to install, so if you're sitting there waiting, wondering, it does take a good amount of time to install. So you'll see there, uh, nice uh, boot animation, but again, we'll see uh, once it boots up that we are on 4.3. All right, so my phone's booted up. I've been playing around with it for a little while. Um, all you have to do is go ahead and go down into settings, and we will double check, make sure we're on 4.3. About phone, and we are now on Android version 4.3. You'll see it right there. You'll notice your baseband was updated, so there are new radios to the update. GJ04, your build number is now GJ04. So there you have it, Sprint users. Your Galaxy Nexus is now on Android 4.3. Overall, it does feel pretty smooth. It feels smoother than it did before. I'm just playing around with it for just a little bit of time. I've noticed that maybe it's a little placebo effect, but to me, it does feel a little smoother. Opening the camera, camera animations uh, do feel um, smoother as well. So hopefully you guys noticed that as well. Um, just kind of a, a little take of mine on those. But anyways, uh, 4.3 is not, it's definitely a minor update. Uh, they skipped 4.2.2 and went straight from 4.2.1 to 4.3. You'll notice under display settings that there is now a daydream feature. That's kind of like a, uh, essentially a screensaver kind of thing that's included in Android. Uh, so you'll notice that's probably different. I don't remember that being on there before. Also some Wi-Fi, uh, a Wi-Fi setting that's different. Go to advanced. You can now, uh, scanning always available um, even when your Wi-Fi is off for Google location, etc. So you don't have to leave the radio actually on. Apps can still use your Wi-Fi network though. So that's just another one. If you want to look at the full change log of Android 4.3, I will link to my review video in the description. I have a full review going over many different Different things um, so check that out but otherwise that's about it uh, that would be Android 4.3 jelly bean on your Sprint Galaxy Nexus I know uh, 4.4 is probably coming out today actually so uh, you'll be behind pretty soon I'm sure but no big deal it's uh, it's good that they're still pushing out updates to the Galaxy Nexus no idea if Sprint's gonna push out a 4.4 update to the Galaxy Nexus or not they took forever on the 4.3 update so I'm sure it'll be a long time coming if they do uh, hopefully this video has helped you out please give it a thumbs up if you did you can also so subscribe to me I'd really appreciate it you can follow me on Facebook Twitter Google Plus all links will be in the description of the video below and as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up